Good day, everybody. My name is Andrea Cimadoro. I'm the National Development Manager for Cooling System here in Australia, and I'd like to welcome to the webinar today. The title of the webinar today is uh, Hybrid Cooling System. So Hybrid Cooling System, it's an innovative uh, way of cooling, the IDAC way, and I'd like to introduce it today to this new world and to this uh, new way of cooling. Definitely very energy efficiency, definitely very environmentally friendly. Okay, let's uh, let's start. We're going to talk about hybrid cooling system. We're going to give the, the IDAC definition of it. I'm going to illustrate the main component of an hybrid uh, cooling system, of an IDAC uh, hybrid cooling system. And then I will give you the advantage of, of it, why we're doing it. You know, that's the, that's the main thing. Why, why are you doing something? Because if it's working and it's successful, that's why we're doing it. And then finally, last but not least, the, the more uh, interesting things for a lot of people is some application examples. So we choose four main ones from four strong sectors that we, we actually working on, mining, aerospace, power generation and food industry. Let's rock and roll and enjoy the show. So hybrid cooling system, the definition. Let's step behind. Let's think about it. In nature, or in the in the 21st century life that we all live, often the word hybrid is given a bad taste. Is giving like a, a negative thing. So for in a lot of things, hybrid is is a kind of a mix of two things, but it's not exactly one thing or the other one. So it's really really not 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 a great thing. Well, that's exactly the opposite. Uh, that we think in IDAC when we did the hybrid cooling system. And I like to use this example, which is very close to everybody. You can have a, a motorbike and you can have a four by four off-road vehicle, okay? But you can combine both of them and create what is called a quad. So a quad is, is, a, is a beautiful machine. It's used a lot in Australia, especially in the agriculture and, and cattle industry. And it serves the purpose because you have combined the best of the two worlds. So you got the flexibility of the riding position of a motorbike, but you have the off-road capability of a 4x4 in a very small and user-friendly and, and, and simple-use machine. So that's why I want to make this example, because our hybrid system is exactly that. It's the best of the two worlds, or in another word, the most efficient or the, the sweet spot of the two worlds. At the end of my presentation, I think you understand why. But let's continue in these things and don't forget the best of the two worlds. So what it means, what it means in, in cooling. So we combine uh, the best size of gasket, we combine the best size of plated exchanger, and we couple with an air blast uh, size cooler, and we also connect it with a chiller ultimately. So the combination of these things create the word hybrid for us. So in Lyman term, what we are going to do is the following. We try to size the air blast cooler to be the strongest boy in the room, in the sense that he will do majority of the big work. He will drop from a, a, a given temperature close as possible to the ambient. And we let this device doing that because it's cheap, user-friendly and environmentally friendly. And let's say dollar per kilowatt of what it does, it's unbeatable. So we let this boy do this part. Then we couple that with a, a fluid barrier product, which is either a brace or a gasket. And then we connect the other fluid to fluid side with a chiller. But the beauty and the clever idea of the hybrid is that we're not going to put a massive chiller to do the job because majority of them is already done by the air blast. So we're going to put just the right chiller for that job. And another important thing, the, this chiller will not run the whole year. So we will have a lot of energy saving. So it will only run when needed and it will only run in an off, on off way. So even more energy saving. Let's move on. Let's talk about the component of an hybrid system. So as we say, air blast cooler, if you are not familiar with that, feel free to uh, watch our webinar on specific on air blast cooler on our YouTube or web page where you can go deep and deep in the question that you want to answer for yourself. For today, I'm just saying that is one component of our hybrid system and very versatile. Uh, millions of, of, of these around the globe from the IDAC point of view, easily to size it with our sizing software, Cool IT, and a lot of different fluid available. 
The second main component of an hybrid system is a chiller, which we call RFCS, refrigerant cooling system. The cooling capacity is up to 300 kilowatt, and uh, we got a control panel, we got an integrated pump and tank, and we use uh, at the present two types of fluid. We, we can use uh, tap water or we can use water glyco uh, fluid mix. So the chiller is a more complicated machine in the, in the positive sense. It's got two circuits. It's got like the main driving circuit from the tank with the recirculation through the system. And then it's got the, the cold fluid side. So it's got the, like we call it the refrigerant side. The, in, in alignment term, a little bit like your, your, your fridge at home. So that side of, of the chiller, the cold side or the ref, what's called the refrigeration cycle, it's mainly enable us to cool the fluid below the ambient temperature. The next component is uh, the gasket plated exchanger. We use the gasket when the job is big or when the, uh, let's say, the fluid that we have to cool is, let's say, aggressive. So we use the gasket one because we can literally clean it and, and change the gasket later on. Or the gasket comes with a lot of crazy material, titanium, stainless steel. And, and so OSIS for courses, we use either this one or the brace plated exchanger. So the brace plated exchanger is more cost effective, more compact compared to the gasket one. And it's a stock item in Australia, so easily available. Same as the gasket, we got a double wall feature available, which is very good when you really don't want to mix the two fluid in your system. And um, we have a uh, different type of brazing. We have different type of material. And if you're also interested in knowing more about that, there's also a webinar that specifically talks about brace plate exchanger. Please go and have a look if you have more in-depth question. So let's stretch again a little bit more on the advantage of the hybrid system. The advantage is that, like we were saying, we use one component, the air blast, to let's say, go from a given point of temperature, 70, 80, 90, whatever, closest to ambient. So he will do that part. It's part of, the, it's a team effort. The air blast cooler will do that effort in the team. And as I say, we can go close to the ambient with the with our highly efficiency air blast cooler, depending on how we size it, with or without the VSD technology, we can really very go very close to, to ambient. And this... Uh, definitely the best option for when it comes to kilowatt versus dollar value and also low power consumption only one or two fan uh, motor are driving the, the air blast cool so that's one way and then the other boy let's say the more precise boy because thanks to the use of a chiller we can control very very much the ambient uh, the, sorry the the fluid temperature in a, in a more uh, confined space and uh, why is that well you know temperature fluctuation is an issue in 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 lot of application and so we need definitely the chiller in the hybrid system to be able to have the temperature very very close for the application that we are cooling so Temperature drop below ambient, that's the job, that's the job the, the boy in the team, the chiller does for the hybrid team. And the temperature control, millimetrical temperature control up to plus minus one degree or alpha degree. So some application need that and that's why we need, we need the chiller into the, the hybrid team. And yes, of course, it's a more complicated, it's a more uh, sophisticated, that's the right word, uh, technology. And therefore, the kilowatt per dollar, it's, uh, it goes more on the expensive side. But that's why the beauty of the hybrid, we only size it for what we need. We don't oversize the chiller on an hybrid system. We just get it and let it use when we need it. And of course, our highly power consumption if you let it run full on. But because we will do on off and in because in several time of the months of the year will not work, then it's, it's the sweet spot. So if I want to do like a simple slide to simplify to everybody, I, I couldn't have a better image than this one. So if I tackle a cooling problem only with a big, huge chiller, well, we are, I'm going to be on the left side. So it's only that technology. It's going to be massive. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be expensive. It will run always or majority of the time. That's not really the best cost-effective solution. Whether if I go on the right side, the either way, the hybrid way, 
we definitely have a, a different cost. In, in some projects, we even went half of the cost of a normal standard chiller or, or a evaporative tower type of cooling way. But let's go in depth. Some great things. On-off function. Well, we definitely get on-off function on the two big boy. We can have an on-off function on the air blast. We can have an on-off function, definitely it is, on the uh, compressor cycling on, on the chiller. We can control the air blast with very tight VSD. So we only need power. We only use power both on the air blast and on the chiller on when we really need it. Only when the, the cooler job is need to be done. So cooling when necessary, that's the right word, and result power saving. So that's from the energy point of view. But from the conservation of resource point of view, we got a high quality of the system that we put in, high quality of the component. We got a reduced refrigerant volume in use because we don't use one big chiller. We use just a small one. So the greenies are already happy about that. And uh, we protect and conserve the nature. As I say, in critical places, we can have a water chiller. We don't need, need to go water glyco when it's not needed. And we have uh, a definitely a better, happy, greeny world. So from the process point of view, the system can have a, a backup on the high load uh, situation because, you know, you get more than one boy. Imagine you got a data center and imagine your main main chiller goes away, well, that's a disaster. Imagine you have a data center, you have an hybrid cooling system, even if either the air blast or, or the cooler could fail or could have things, there is enough redundancy in the system to take over and control and keep the control temperature, you know, keep the temperature stable and controlled. Imagine what happens if we don't have a stable temperature again in a, in a data center. So long system lifetime, that's the result because we always control and because we always keep the system at the right temperature in every circumstance and in every day and an hour of the, the lifetime of the machine, we extend indirect the, the lifetime. So long service, long term reliability and smart control we can we can go nuts on how many and how much smart control we can apply. It's all about putting more juicy and features in, in the from the ILAC electronic division. So system availability, that's uh, very strong when you are sitting on uh, on an island, which is uh, separated from the rest of the world. So standard market range component, optimized lead time, easy comfort uh, and, and, you know, easy component replacement because all these things we stock, we stock air blast, we stock chiller, we stock brace plate exchange. So the way we come up with the hybrid system is to have the best of the three world, but something that we also have in stock. So that, that's a system availability plus. And uh, last uh, but not least, I love these slides because there's nothing more clear than for to express that the hybrid system is the best combination to have the best cooling capacity at the lowest cost. And believe me or not, that's exactly it. So if we go up from the square green sweet spot, which is the hybrid, yes, you can have a system with a big chiller and a gasket only without the air blast, but your price is going to be double, exactly the double, exactly like, like the chart is showing to you. And yes, we can have a simple system with just an air blast, but then it will be cheap and it will, but it will not do the same cooling capacity. So that's our corner on the left. So again, we don't think that there is anything more cost effective and efficient of the hybrid cooling systems. Combining the two, the three world or more, if we put more, more uh, cooler devices to achieve the best. That's, that's the philosophy behind it. But now, Let's get everybody excited because I know that everybody likes to see real things, a real application. I can talk for hours, but it means nothing until you see something in real life, something that proves that the theory, the hybrid theory is successful. And we, we really believe on these things because we have done it mainly. There's no nothing better than say to somebody, yes, I have a theory, but I've done it. I've proved it. Uh, and I prove it in, in this sector, in that sector, and in that mind side and in that application so let's go let's go with that together
the first one mining industry so this uh, uh it's a it's a project that is at the, at the moment in commissioning phase in in the wa region uh we have used in this case a containerized chiller because of the ash environment that uh, this place is is actually a gold mine a lot of uh, red dust a lot of uh, rain and environmental issues so we, we just containerized the chiller to giving a, a long lifetime and uh, the chiller is connected with a brace plate exchanger and the brace plate exchanger is connected to two of our size 14 chillers so this is a very very interesting system it cool the lubrication system of the oil of a main crusher in a gold mine and uh, as i say some months of the year only the air blast will do the job some other months of the year the chiller will kick in when the oil needs to be below a certain ambient temperature so very good successful example in the mining industry of the hybrid cooling theory the second one it's from the aerospace uh, industry. Uh, in this case, we are cooling actually the hydraulic of the an hydraulic uh, fly simulator. So majority of the fly simulator are hydraulically driven or hydraulic motion control driven. So the the, the motion control what what uh, control the movement, the the pitch, the roll, the yaw, all the different uh, axis rolling of, of an aircraft are controlled by by hydraulic actuator, and therefore we have an hydraulic power unit so we cool the hydraulic power unit straight uh, let's say we connect it with a brace plated exchanger and then in series with an air blast and with a chiller why hybrid also here well because this uh, flight simulator is not in a climatized room is not in a very expensive uh, climatized room so it's actually under a normal building a normal shed so for eight nine months of the year the pump inside the the chiller pump the water glycol through the cooler through the brace speed changer and it's enough to keep the hydraulic system of the flight simulator at the right temperature but for two or three months a year when the temperature get hot especially in 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 western australian region uh, type of things then the chiller kicks in and keep the oil and give that extra power that is needed. But we only use this chiller when it's needed. We only give uh, the power to that system only when it's needed. So the rest of the year, people save electrical energy, people save the noise uh, and, and, and so on. So another successful um, implementation of the hybrid uh, technology and the hybrid uh, concept. Next is on the power generation industry. Um, this is uh, for people that are not familiar. This is what we call our Australian VEU varnish elimination unit. So what this unit does is uh, it goes it goes mainly on uh, uh, on power generation from uh, aero derivative uh, engine, and it uh, clean the turbine oil and it remove remove the varnish. So mainly it, it acts almost like a doctor. It goes and it recondition your oil. If you don't know what varnish is. Uh, we got uh, two or three webinar out there. You can go and look at it and you can get more familiar uh, yourself on Vanish. But from a cooler point of view, from a, from a cooling guy point of view, Vanish is heat. So turbine oil is is got a, a strong transient to highly high temperature and then the normal use of it uh, create varnish. So sometimes you need to remove varnish and that's why you can uh, buy uh, a unit like that uh, from IDAC or rent it from uh, our national service partner. Uh, you connect a unit like that and within a week or two, your old system is already back to, to uh, like it was uh, before. But what what it does it mean now with the hybrid? Why you're going in that direction, somebody might say, well, I'm glad to, to say that without the hybrid uh, cooling system in the, on the VU, we couldn't achieve what we want. Because mainly for the filtration unit to work per perfectly and, and accordingly and to remove varnish, you need to have a, a very, very tight temperature range. Otherwise, the filter will not be use at its peak, will not be used as this, as this high efficiency. So again, efficiency. And again, well, the only way to do that, but not only that, the only way to do that in a little in a little trolley system, you know, because otherwise, we, if you have the, all the space of the world, we could have done in a lot of other way, but we have a, re, a little trolley 
and in the little trolley has a chiller, has a, a, a double set of brace plated exchanger and an air blast. So we have to apply again the hybrid the hybrid theory into another product, which is the vanish elimination unit, and it works beautifully because of the hybrid. The hybrid keep the oil temperature within the range in order to be processed by the filter and to be removed the vanish from the oil. So another successful application. Uh, last but not least, uh, I like to show you this case because it's a little bit outside the uh, what I just say until now. But this is how much uh, we are stretching the world hybrid in, in in cooling system Australia. Well, hybrid for us now it's anything that I combine more than one cooler or more than one product of IDAC, like uh, an OLF, like an oil filtration unit, uh, and I combine it with a, a tank and a brace plate exchanger and I add an air blast. Uh, this is something that nowadays, especially the young generation uh, coming to IDAC, they, they love doing it because IDAC cooling system is now globally developed to the point where we can have different product, combine them together and create magic. So that, that's great. And to the accusation that I often have in, in, in open forum, ah, but you're complicating the system. Not really, not really. We are having a problem. We are chopping in, in different team. And each team, the team uh, cooler does that. The team air blast cooler does his bit. The team brace plate exchanger does that bit. The team's oil filtration unit does the bit. And together we achieve what we want. So what we want in cooling is uh, is have a constant temperature on your system. That's mainly why we are here. The mainly what we we heat and breathe every day. So if you have a thermal issue, if you have a thermal problem, come to us and uh, and, li and leave to us the way we we can tackle the problem, the way we can maintain your your temperature constant in in, in your system. And the way we can do it in the most effective way, the most practical way, the most compact way, the most energy efficient and the most environmentally friendly. So conclude my my presentation for today. I'd like to thank all of you for the audience for today. And remember one last sentence, the best of every world. That's what an hybrid is, is using the best technology, using the component at the best level and get the best out of it. So if you have a, a thermal problem and you, you don't know how to tackle it or how to win this, uh, this thermal, thermal match, give it to us and we'll, we'll look after that. So thank you very much for your attention and, uh, and bye for now.